The next stop on our journey to learning SolidWorks is the Revolve feature. Now the Revolve feature is similar to an extrude or an extruded cut in that it needs a sketch. But this time instead of just extruding it straight out, we're going to take that and revolve it around an axis. So we need to put in an axis. So to get started, let's go ahead and start here with a sketch and let's choose the front plane. And like I told you, we need to have an axis. So let's go ahead and create one right over here. Under line, we have one called center line. And I'm going to draw a few center lines right here on the screen. And then one right over here. And generally you only need one center line. But I'm going to draw a few here. So we can see what will change. As I define and draw this shape. Now I'm going to go over here and grab a circle. Draw out a circle. And where it is, it doesn't really matter. Then I'm also going to draw a rectangle. So here is a rectangle right above it. All right. Now this circle. If you don't want something to actually be used in the feature, you can change it from a regular geometry to construction geometry. So in this case here, I've got a circle, but I'm not using it. And I just have a rectangle. So let's go ahead and rotate this around, revolve of that feature. So go over here to features. I come over here to revolve base or boss, click there. And the first question is the axis of rotation. So anything that's going to be revolved has to revolve around an axis. And in this case, I'm going to choose this one right here. And because I only have that one rectangle, it takes that and revolves it around that axis. And now we have basically what's looked like a washer. We have a couple of options here. We can choose if I want to go blind. If I want to up to vertex, up to surface, offset from surface or mid plane. Because we don't have any other geometry in this part, like a vertex or a surface. We can't use those yet, but I can use mid plane. And instead of 360 I can type in a value. Maybe like 30 degrees. So notice is going from the shape I drew. 15 degrees in both directions. If you want to switch that back over here to blind. It's going 30 degrees in only one direction. And you can switch the way it goes. Just by clicking on this little button here. In fact, we can also go to direction too. So if we don't want it to be symmetrical, we can say. I want to go maybe 60 degrees, one direction. I want to go 30 degrees the other one. We can do that as well. We can also define a thin feature. So if we want to make this more like a tube, we can have that material going on the outside of the shape we drew or on the inside by clicking on this little flip reverse direction button. So now that's going to be bringing that material. So it's on the inside of our shape. And then we can define how thick it's going to be. So a couple different options there on creating a shape. I'm going to go ahead and turn that fin feature off. For right now, though. And let's just go ahead and create that one shape. Click on OK or the green check mark. And there's our very first revolve. Now let's go back and modify this feature. So if you look at the drop down arrow here. Or this little twirl down, you can see the sketch. And inside that sketch is the feature. So if we want to define how far we're rotating around, that's where you'd come into and edit the feature itself. And in this case, I'm going to go just in one direction. And I want to make sure that we're going 180. So I'm going to go back and modify that. So we've got this going halfway around. And then let's go back and edit that sketch. So I'm going to come up here and click on edit sketch. Now let's do something new. Let's go ahead and take this circle here and switch it back from construction geometry to regular geometry, then exit out and take a look. Now you can see that I've created two revolve shapes, all with that one command. So any shape you have in that sketch will be revolved around. Now, let's go back one more time. This time let's switch which axis we're rotating around, right? So instead of rotating around this axis here, let's switch to a different axis. In fact, let's make it even cooler. Let's go ahead and make this a tube. And then let's add in another circle here to this part here. And there it is. OK, now exit out and you can see that it automatically adds those hollow shapes there. And then if I go back over here to the feature itself, instead of the axis I was using, let's go ahead and delete that out and then choose a different axis. And there you go. So I'll just by quickly changing from one axis to the next, the part completely changes. Now I've got more like a conic shape down here. And you still got a circular shape here. 
so you can switch axes very easily. And you can use individual edges from your part. If you had like an edge like this one here, we can go back and use that if we wanted to. So, let's try that out. So go over here to the feature itself. Click on edit feature and my axis is going to be this edge. Click OK and there you have it. So a bunch of different ways you can use different axes and take individual shapes, whether they're nested or not and rotate them around. And again, the revolve is one of the key features. Inside of SolidWorks, it's probably not as common as the regular extruder or extruded cut, but it's definitely one of the most popular features. Inside of SolidWorks,